Hey there, Internet. Welcome to a five-minute wine lesson. My name is Duncan. I'm the brand ambassador for a Texas winery called Los Pinos Ranch Vineyards, and we are broadcasting to you today from our Los Pinos tasting room in Fredericksburg, Texas. Uh, today we're going to talk about something that is really paramount to wine drinking um, and is helpful for those of you starting out because there's a lot of ways to open a bottle of wine. Uh, there's about 10,000 different products at about 10,000 different prices uh, that all end with a bottle of wine getting opened as the end result. So we're going to show you the one that we use in the tasting room and that is kind of just the professional standard and that is what in the industry we refer to as a wine key or a lever style corkscrew all right it's very simple it's got three different kind of moving parts and by the end of this video you'll be able to use one safely and look like you know what you're doing all right so let's break down the parts number one you have your foil cutter which folds out of the end kind of like a pocket knife in the middle you have your actual corkscrew, arguably the most important part. That's what gets the cork out of the bottle. And then you have your lever on top, which usually goes double as a bottle opener as well for those working in, you know, behind the bar where you're opening beer and wine at the same time. So what do we need to make this happen besides our corkscrew? A bottle of wine. I... Today, I'm working with our 2019 Rosato, which is a lovely dry rosé with Texas High Plains fruit. Um, and to get it open, the thing that probably is something that kind of distinguishes whether you've worked in a professional setting or not is how you remove the foil cap. Because some people like to just pull the whole foil cap off. Um, but if you want to look a little bit more sophisticated, a little more classy, you use the foil cutter to just cut the top off. Um, and at the top of every wine bottle, you've got kind of a lip there. You see that ridge? You can use that to protect yourself as you do this. So what you want to do is start by taking the foil cutter out, putting it against the top of the lip. Hopefully you can see that all right. And then you put your thumb on the opposite side of the wine bottle underneath the lip and just apply a little pressure with your hand and then you just turn that bottle 360 degrees until you cut all the way around and then you just pull it off comes right off just like that and then this should be what your bottle's looking like after step one all right, now before we move on to step two, very important, close that foil cutter because um, it's very easy if anything slips when you're doing the next stage to inflict a little bit of unnecessary injury upon oneself. So once we've got that done, we're gonna fold open the lever and the corkscrew so it should look like this. Now this part is probably the most common area of mistake. It's very easy if you just start trying to go straight into the corkscrew to kind of make a mess of the cork and have some unnecessary wiggle movement. So actually what you want to do is hold your bottle of wine straight up and down. Uh, side note for those of you who maybe are watching this because you're starting working in the wine industry, maybe you just got a job at one of our tasting rooms or one of the other tasting rooms out here in Fredericksburg. Uh, You'll want the wine bottle to be facing out is kind of the professional way uh, or facing the table if you're doing table service. That's just kind of a little extra professional tip. Anyway, moving on to the corkscrew. You start at like kind of a 45 degree angle just to make sure that end, that pointy end gets all the way embedded in there. And then once you start turning the corkscrew, kind of rightens itself out and gets straight up and down. Now, here's where probably a lot of people make the biggest mistake and often the most embarrassing mistake with one of these is they don't understand how to use the lever. So they'll drill all the way down into the corkscrew and use all of their strength to forcibly remove that cork. And what that usually does is while it does remove 
the cork, it also removes a fair amount of the wine um, onto the front of your shirt and you look a little silly. Um, so to avoid that, what we're gonna do is about, I'll unscrew it again so we can show you. So once we've got the cork, we got the lever in the cork there, and we've got three turns, and then pull the lever down, push it up against that lip. I like to use the back of my finger for pressure. And this might feel a little weird at first, but the more you do it, the more comfortable you're gonna be with it. So, you know, don't start with maybe your most expensive bottle of wine, go get some, you know, stuff from Trader Joe's and practice this at home. Uh, so once we've done that, we've got our first, first little bit there. And then once you've pulled that bottle or that cork, I'm sorry, out of the bottle about a third of the way, then I'm gonna dig down the rest of the way so that you actually can't see the cork screw anymore. And then we're gonna do our second pull and that's gonna get you most of the way out. At this point, you could probably pull it all the way out, but I like to, to avoid any spillage or dripping, just pull it out or wiggle out the rest of the cork with my finger. And there you go. Your bottle of wine is open and ready for consumption. So that's how to use a corkscrew. Thank you guys for tuning in. Um, please do follow and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We've got a bunch of these little wine tips and lessons. And uh, also we would love to see you either out here at our Fredericksburg tasting room or at the actual winery out in East Texas in Pittsburgh. So thank you so much for tuning in and we will see you guys next time. Cheers.